what can you say about that, Steve? Um, perfect? I'm not. I'm not one to say perfect, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's probably as as as, um, as good as as good as it's been this season. Um, we came out. We came out the traps really quickly. We, we had a few chances in the first ten minutes. I think we had two or three real good opportunities to take the lead, um, and and then. With, you know when you when you don't when you don't take that we, we gave them a couple of half chances uh, around about the 20 25 minute mark where you're thinking oh, if we'd only taken those chances in the, the, the first 10 minutes um you know we, we, we'd have killed the game off and then we go and get get one and you can see them that you can see them sinking we get another one right before half time and the one after half time just kills the game off and, and, and we, we go and see it out with, with obviously getting the fourth so you know the, the whole game i think for, for if you're going to analyze 90 minutes i think i think um to date, that that probably is the best performance we've put together, and, and we knew we knew that was in there. Now we need that consistently. Well, you say there was a couple of occasions, I think, in the first half where we did invite pressure on ourselves by players giving the ball away in needless areas, like you say. But um, we seemed to recover quite well, and uh, certainly there was a resilience at the back, um, even bringing young Dean in tonight and pushing Jamie. You know, to the side was that the only solution that you could see? No, definitely not. I mean, over a ninety minutes, the, the, the opposition are going to get chances. You know, you're not you're not going to have a, a whole game. You know, where where they're not going to get any chances. But we limited them down to, to bare minimum. You know, a couple of crosses here, a couple of half chances that they, they, they had, um, and then they maybe had maybe another half chance near the end. But the game was done by then. But no, we had we had um, we had options. You know, we could have put Conor Kennedy into right back and kept the centre halves uh, the same. You know, we, we could have put Ash Robinson in at right back, or you know, the, 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 that's that's a good thing with the squad. We've got players who can play in different positions. But you know, I thought Dean McBride uh, a couple of weeks ago in the, the FA Cup done well. Um, I thought he had, I thought he had a decent game. So you know, he's he's there to be used. He's 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 a very good squad player for us this year. Only 18 years old, um, and and I thought him getting next to Gary, I thought they were absolutely brilliant. And I thought. James Jamie Anton had done a fantastic game at right back as well. So, you know, that, that that's what we want in a team. We've got Jake Bettles who would have been disappointed not to start after getting man of the match on Saturday. You know, he's he's chapping at the bit to, to get in the team, so it keeps the other players on their toes. We've now got Miles Smith wanting to get back in the team. We've got Greg Ling wanting to get back in the team. We've got options all over the place, and, and that's exactly what we need. And we need these boys who are on the bench and not in the team to keep wanting it and to keep wanting to get in because when they get the chance they've got to go and show it and they can go and do it because right now after that performance it's very difficult to change anything um, Dan George seemed to get what seemed to be quite a bad knock towards the end is that anything to worry about? No I don't think so I think um, the boys just clattered him and he's, he's obviously had to get, get a little bit of treatment on that but uh, I think it's just more of an impact injury rather than anything else which is which is fine you can treat that over the next couple of days and he should be okay for Saturday. And did you know it's the first time since 2013 that Colby have won an FA Cup tie? You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Yeah, cheers, thank you.